Baltimore County Police have spent 40 years looking at this picture, wondering who she is. They refer to her as Woodlawn Jane Doe. How she ended up down here is, is the mystery, and, and who she is is the mystery for us. She was found near a cemetery in Woodlawn in September 1976. A van was seen in the area. A passerby found her body and called police. Her arms were taped behind or tied behind her back, and there was a rope, I'd say 8, 10, 12 feet long, that was wrapped and tied around her neck. She was tortured, drugged, and gagged. This was a brutal murder. Two bandanas covered her face. There's holes cut out for the eyes. This bag for grass seed was over her head, a piece of it stuffed inside her throat. That bag and two keys she carried connected the case back to the Boston area. Further proof Woodlawn Jane Doe is from Massachusetts came from a lab in Texas where they examined her clothes. Every plant on the planet produces a, its own unique pollen grain. You can think of it as like a fingerprint for a plant. The pollen from Woodlawn Jane Doe comes from two trees only grown together in New York and Boston. Our sister station in Boston, WCVB, ran the story, and Baltimore County Police got new, valuable leads. Now they're hoping for the same success here. Somehow she ended up here in Woodlawn. If she were alive today, Woodlawn Jane Doe would be around 60, but this picture shows what she looked like in 1976 in her 20s. Take a look at this photograph. This is a unique picture. We're just asking for the public's help. It's time for somebody to step up to the plate. With new clues and DNA, police say they're getting closer to solving this. And after all this time, calling her by her real name. Megan Pringle, WBAL-TV 11 News.